Hi, this is session 3 of React course for beginners. In this session, we will understand by default how the index page is getting displayed when we run our React project. Alright, let's flip to Visual Studio Code and open up the project which we have created in our last session. So, this is the React demo project which we have created in our last session. So, in order to run our React project, we would need to uh, provide the npm start command uh, via the command prompt. Alright, so let's run our project by giving the command npm start. This will run our project. And here it is. So this is running. So the page, the content which we see on this page from where it is coming from. So let's navigate to the project. And this is coming from the index page. And how this index page is referred from where we are referring this page. All right, let's uh, navigate to index.js page. And from here, that index.html container is injected in the sense here we are rendering our react elements to this container so this container is from the index.html file so here we are getting the container by its id so id is root so let's navigate to index.html and look for the id root here it is so we are injecting this container from this file in order to display the content of the file so how these two files are referred if i change the file name of this from index to index one will it work or if i want to keep this file name as home will it work let's see so i'm um, uh, I, I have renamed the index file from index to index one and let's look at the browser here it is so it says error so how this default page is being referred so let's understand that in this session so before that let's uh, rename this full rename this file to index all right so First, let's see in the package.json file. Uh, since we are uh, using npm command, so the uh, startup file for uh, the React project is package.json. So here we are interested in start. So because we uh, give npm start in order to start our application, so we are interested in knowing in this script. So this script referring react scripts start. So let's look for React scripts under uh, node modules. So in node modules, let's look for React hyphen scripts. Let's navigate to React hyphen scripts. So here it is, React hyphen scripts and in the bin folder we have react hyphen scripts.js so let's click the file and here if we could say if the npm command as any of these word either build or eject or start or test it uses it referring scripts file scripts folder so let's look for scripts folder in here so here it is scripts so let's open up scripts and we are interested in uh, npm start so let's look for start.js file so let's click start.js file and here if you could see we are getting config factory from config slash webpack.config file so are we referring this config uh, factory so let's see that and here it is so we are uh, you know passing development as param so we use uh, this config for development environment and we pass that config to the compiler in order to process the uh, application further so we'll have to see this config so let's see for config factory and what we get so config factory is the 
webpack.config file under the config folder. So let's look for config folder and we'll have to see webpack.config.js file. So let's click on it. And here let's look for the entry. So here it is. So in the entry, we refer paths dot append index.js so this is the file which is the entry file for our project and also this will use the plugin called let's look for that this will use the plugin called html webpack plugin to load the HTML file. So the HTML file here they are referring that is app HTML. So the app HTML also resides in paths object. So let's see from where paths is coming from. So we'll have to see app HTML and app index.js in the paths object. So let's look for paths object here. So this is the paths and uh, we get it from the paths file. So let's look for paths JavaScript here. So I'm cl clicking uh, paths.js and here it is app index.js. So here if you could see app index.js is referring to the index file which is in the src folder and app html referring to index.html file which is in the public so here if you change the value to index 1 so then the uh, application will start working respectively that let's prove that uh, so first let's try to change the name so I'm going to change the index.html file name to home.html and the index.js to home.js. So we have changed it here and let's also change it in the paths file. So let's change here index to home and index.html to home.html with these changes let's run our project and let's see whether we are able to we are able to run our project successfully so i'm giving npm start again it says name index.html so that is because we have not mentioned at the correct place so we will have to mention it here in the module.export so let's change it to home and also in here so let's see save our changes save all and let's run our project again here it is so our project is running and it should give the same content as it was displaying earlier here it is so this is how the default uh, file is being referred uh, by the uh, React. Alright, that's it in this session. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.